Commissioner Pearson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, on tonight, we will have our invocation done for us by Elder Michael Newton. Thank you so much. And that was a spur of the moment thing. I did not get the name of his church as he's told me before, but I got it. He stay up like he get to the podium. Thank you so much, Pastor Newton. Just about it. Heavenly Father God, we come before you, Father God, in a situation where we've seen turmoil, we've seen situations not so at ease. But now, God, we ask that you come in this place, Father God, where's rule and abide on each one of us, all needing you in different ways. Some need you emotionally, some need you physical, and some need you mentally. But Father God, we know if you're in this place, you say, well, two or three gathered in your name, there you be also. So let us be all like-minded, not like-minded, but at least in the same common sense to be able to understand what humankind is to do is treat each other with decency and go forth doing your work, your will, and your way. In Jesus' name, let us all say amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Approval of the board of the agenda. Second. Second. Motion and second. All opposed? Motion carries. The next item on the agenda is the consent agenda items. As always, we will have the city manager read off what was placed on the consent agenda. Mr. City Manager, good evening. Mayor, good evening, Mayor. Mayor Council, we got five items. <laughs> Agenda. I'll read them all for you. The first one is item two from the work session. Approval of the submittal of resolution to recognize Keep uh, Douglas Beautiful as an affiliate with Keep America Beautiful Incorporated. Uh, item two is at, I mean, the second item is item three. Approval of the submittal resolution to establish the Keep Beautiful Douglas uh, Committee. Uh, the third item is actually item number five, a bid approval for the uh, airfield electric replacement construction uh, in Douglas Municipal Airport. The uh, fourth item is item number eight, approval of the contract for the CDBG 2020 Behavior Health Grant, uh, 20PZ0342-6128. And the fifth item is uh, item 11, approval of the FY21 budget amendment. Those are the five items on the consent agenda. Thank you, Mr. City Manager. At this time, I'll entertain a motion for the items placed on the consent agenda. Thank you, Commissioner Durham. Motion. Second. Been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. The next item on the agenda is work session items for discussion and questions. Mr. City Manager, please through it. Mayor, uh, we have uh, five items coming forward. The first item will be item number four, and that will be a request to publicize the vacancy. Commission to approve the work authorization number nine 
for professional service for engineering services between the city of Davis and Michael Baker for the airfield electrical replacement project. Thank you. At this time, I entertain a motion. Second. Second. Motion. Second. Second. Any further discussion? Discussion. As I stated on the previous item, I'm not enough information and I'm not in favor of the design. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item, Mr. City Manager. Right. Next item from the work session is item 9. Discuss the police department's seeking approval to purchase a use of force virtual reality training simulator, Chief Shane Edison. Good evening again. Uh, as we discussed earlier, this is a uh, virtual reality training simulator for use of force, uh, uh, both uh, deadly and non deadly use of force. Uh, we had a simulator here, a uh, demonstration. All of you were invited on May 13th uh, uh, to attend that. It is a great piece of equipment. It can give our officers not only the training to uh, use or not use force. Any type, any type, but it also will train them to de escalate situations as it is a live, one on one type of virtual simulator. And this would be nothing but uh, great for the department and also for the relations as well. Okay. At this time, I entertain a motion. Move to approve. Second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? Discussion as I stated in the work session. I was not aware of the training and I'm not familiar with the. Uh, how this operates, so I will be opposed. Good deal. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. Next right. item on the agenda, Mr. City Manager. Next item is the first reading of the 2021 tax millage ordinance. Strong matter. You won't take any action on this, and there will be a public hearing, and you'll take action on this ordinance on September 13th. Yes. This being ordered from the Mayor Board of Commissioners, the City of Douglas, Georgia, proposed for the levy on tax by all tax departments within the City of Douglas, except for taxation under the law of the State of Georgia and the ordinance of the City of Douglas, Georgia, <coughs> for the calendar year 21, and for all purposes, subject to all provisions hereof, be ordained by the Mayor Board of Commissioners, the City of Douglas, Georgia, and Session Assembly, and is hereby levy the aggregation of 15.21 bills upon all taxable property, both real and personal, in the City of Douglas, Georgia, subject to taxation. Under the laws of the state of Georgia, ordinances of the city of Douglas have reported by the Board of Assessors for municipal tax in said city and do a legal form left in proportion to follow to it. Have a rule of tax millage equivalency 15.21 mills, less sales tax millage equivalency 6.84 mills, total 21 city of Douglas tax millage 8.36 mills, less 21 industrial authority tax millage. One mill, net city of Douglas 2021, have a rule of tax millage rate 7.36 mills. Uh, be it ordained by authority before said tax assessment here and provided to be collected by the due to tax commissioner of Cox County who has entered into an agreement with the city of Douglas for collection of municipal taxes on the before the first day of December. Due to late tax commissioner shall keep the record open from the first day of September 21 until the first day of December 21. And after such day, the elected tax commissioner shall then proceed to issue tax executions for all due and unpaid tax due to the city of Douglas for the year 21. Be it further ordained. I see if Douglas does authorize tax commission of the city and county to bill one mill from the industrial authority and remit the same directly to the Douglas Cross County Industrial Authority. Introduce the rest for the first time to recommend the member before the commission said Douglas Georgia on August 23rd, 2021. And we've got the second reading put the on September 13th. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Adams. Uh, do we have any staff comments? No. No staff comments. At this time, I entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. The motion is second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed?